Kedusha Slavi in Parsha Shaftim. Shaftim is Shaitrim Titein Lecha Bechol Sharecha. We should put in judges and policemen in all the Sharim. Bishaftu Asa Amish Batzedek, Parsha Pshadas, and they, the Shaftim, and the Shaftim will judge the whole nation, all Jews, Mishpat Tzedek, with a righteous Mishpat, righteous judgment. Says the Kedusha Slavi. When it comes to Yom HaMishpat, which we're all scared of, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Yom Adin, Hashem is going to judge all of us. Ah, you have to know how things work. You know, sometimes you have a good lawyer, he can get a criminal off, because he knows the system. Ah, Isarusa de Lesata, Le'er Itai Hamida Sharachmanus Lamala. The way that we behave down here, can affect our judgment on the Yom Adin. If we can increase Rachamim and Shemayim, then we in our Din, for ourselves and our other family, our whole family, and Klal Yisrael, could have more mercy. Right? We're all going to have Mishpat, but nobody's coming to Hashem and saying, I think I did really well this year. Can I please have Kulay Din? Nobody would survive. So we ask for, please pour on some Rachamim. How much Rachamim is poured on? He says it depends on us. You want more chesed? You want more rachamim in your din? To be zaycha bedin in Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur? To have a better year? How do you do it? How do you get Hashem to pour on more midah of chesed? Says the Kedusha Slevi, Kisha'onu lemata. When we down here, misnagim b'chesed, we are misnaig. Right, we're fierzach. We deal with other people with chesed. Umelamdim schus al ishmi Yisrael ledunam lekav schus. When we are melamed schus for Jewish people to be melamed lekav schus, we see that they're mechal Shabbos, and we say, "I'm sure that he had a very hard life, and I'm sure it's lekav schus." Have done? It's called chaveri. Have done? It's called haadam lekav schus. When we are melamed schus on other people, oz aliyedezeh. We awaken in Shemaim that Hashem should deal with us, our own din, with that same midah, with that same, same trait, with that same amount. Wow. So Hashem, when it comes to your mishpat, if you looked at other people with chesed and rachamim, and you didn't judge them, and you didn't condemn them, and you didn't look down at them, not just you did a mitzvah, not just you help them out. Your mishpat changes. You now get treated with extra rachamim. The imkain says the Kedusha Slavi. Ha'adam ma'ayri ba'uvda shalamata ha'shar ha'elyoin l'vtoyach shari chesed. You can awaken what's going on in Shemayim. By what you do down here, you open up the doors in Shemayim. L'vtoyach shari chesed. To open up the doors of Chesed for Klal Yisrael, Laharik Bracha to shower blessing, Al Kalzera Yisrael on all of Klal Yisrael, Mizesh Kasuv, and this is Pshat in the pasuk, Shoyftim v'Shoytrim, Titein Lecha v'Chol Sharecha, Ratzaloymar, She'ata ba'atzmecha tesakein v'Sochin Amishpat Shalmala Al Yedei She'Arecha. You, Titein Lecha, you have. The ability to decide the judgment is Shemayim that's going to pertain to Klal Yisrael. It's your Sha'arim, the way that you treat other people, the way that you look at sinners, the way you look at people who are less fortunate than you. And that's the Pshat. And here's the Vart. You should make sure to judge the nation of Klal Yisrael. You should judge. Not the judges judge. Not the policeman judges. Every person should teach yourself. It's not natural to do this. We're naturally very cynical. We don't trust. We like to judge people. Very much. We have to go to school. Teach yourself. To work in a certain way in Anhaga, Lishpoit is Ha'am be Mishpat Tzedek. That when you hear about somebody that did something, to go ahead and judge him favor- favorably. Lulamit Staka, Uschus, Akol Zere Yisrael, Akol 
Zara Yisrael. Not to condemn. Right? You see somebody doing something bad, you say, I'm sure he had a good reason for it. That's the titen l'cha b'chal sharecha. V'shav tu es ha'am. We have to judge ha'am. Hashem is giving us a, a, a way to, to get a good mishpat. Giving us a tip. That if we are going to be v'shav tu es ha'am, everyone in Klai Yisrael, mishpat tzedek, that's the way we're going to get judged. Because it's in our hands. Titen l'cha b'chal sharecha. It's in our hands. V'az ha'adam ma'ir ha'shar shamala. You awaken the door upstairs to put in the ingredient of chesed. They say, Yoitze Badin, Zakai. You will come out of Din, Zakai, clean. Ba Mishpat Shamala, Kibamidish Adam Maidid Maididim Lai. Because the way that you deal with other people, that's the way Hashem deals with you. So we started off saying that we have kids off the derech, we have to be makar of them, we have to do things for them, we have the Zayar Kaddish, we have a lot of data showing that this is very important mitzvah to do for them. But now, according to the Kedushas Levi, do this for yourself. We all are going to din, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur. And if you're going to go ahead and look at your child or your neighbor's child or your sibling and say, what a Russia, what a this. I'm looking at what he does and I'm condemning him and I'm angry at him and he's bad and he's evil. You are writing your own death certificate. Because Hashem says, okay, that's a lot of din. You didn't do have a done as kol ha'adam l'kavskos. You didn't do al as chavecha achdim l'kamei. You are signing the way that we are going to deal with you. And oh boy, are we in trouble. Oh boy, if Hashem is going to judge us the way that we judge other people, even though we're sure we're right. He says, yes, you're right. You might be right. Where's your achmonos? Oy vey, this person smoking on Shabbos probably had a really hard life. Oy vey, I feel so bad. He's losing out on, on a life of Yiddishkeit. Rachmanos, Mishpat Tzedek. And if we do that for the sinners in Klal Yisrael, as Kol Yisrael, we have to teach this to ourselves. Kol Ish Yilamedes Atzmai. This is what we should be teaching at the Shabbos table to our children. You want to be Mechanach your children? Teach them how to be Zaycha Bedin on Rosh Hashanah. Pretty good. Tell your children, my dear children, my dear brothers and sisters, I'll give you a trick with the same Averis and the same Mitzvahs, because we all have Mitzvahs and Averis, I will teach you how to be Zaycha Badin. Look around at the sinners. Be Dan Lekavschus. Put on Tztaka and Chesed, glasses, lenses of Tztaka and Chesed, and your own Mishpat and Rosh Hashanah is going to go up. You're going to be Zaycha Badin. Wow. What a great religion. Be selfish. Do it for yourself. It's a mitzvah for them. Do it for yourself. Do it for your other children. Do it for your family. Do it for Klal Yisrael. Tell Hashem, we don't want any din. Too much din. No din. We want chesed. Says the Kedusha Slavi, you want chesed? Treat other people with chesed. And then you're going to get chesed. We brought down from the Nesiv Shalom. he says, beautiful, Yachel Yisrael El Hashem. You can hope, yearn for Hashem. Ki Hashem Hashem chesed. Because Hashem has chesed. The har be'i fedus. He has a lot of fedus. Some people say, Hashem is going to run out of stock. He doesn't have enough redemption for me after what I did this year. So Nesiv Shalom says, that's Pshat Bahar Be'imai Fidus. He has enough, enough Fidus. Hashem has a lot of Fidus. Hashem has a lot of redemption. Hashem has a lot of miracles in stock. Hashem has a lot of Chesed. Hashem has a lot of money. Hashem has a lot of Oitzer Mat Naschinam. The Medrash says that Moshe Rabbeinu got a tour in Shemayim and he went around to all the warehouses and they showed him, this is the warehouse for children. When someone needs a child, we give him a child from here. This is the warehouse of money. When someone deserves money, we're printing the factory, printing shekel, dollars, euros, and bitcoins. They're now producing bitcoins. Every oitzer, health, is a warehouse. You don't just get health. It comes from a warehouse. And Moshe Rabbeinu goes around and gets a tour, and then he sees this warehouse that's bigger than all of the other warehouses. And he says, which one is this? So the Medrash says that the angel tells him, when someone is zaycha and deserves something, they get it from that factory, from that warehouse. But what if somebody needs something that he doesn't deserve? This is the Oitzer Mat Naschinam. All the stuff that we give on loan to people who don't deserve comes from this warehouse, and it's bigger than all the other warehouses. Oitzer Mat Naschinam. How are you zaycha to the Oitzer Mat Naschinam? Because you give somebody Mat Naschinam. You give somebody who doesn't deserve a smile, you give them a smile. 
Someone who's Mechal Shabbos, you go ahead and you feel bad for them. You judge them favorably. You look at people, it doesn't have to just be off the derech. Everybody, there's so much judgment. I mean, me personally, I've heard people interpret stuff that I did in ways that I never meant. I'm like, how do you know me better than me? I never thought of that. People are always looking to judge. Probably there's a way to, there's an angle here to make sure that we can figure out how this person is bad. You know? So probably he's doing it for this reason. Oh, he's doing it for that reason. Oh, he's doing this is thing and that. Always going to find a way to judge with mishpat, with din. So he says, V'shav tu es ha'am mishpat tzedek. You want to be zeicha b'din? We need to judge our people mishpat tzedek. Justice. Tzedek. Tzedakah. Kal ish yilameh des atzmai l'esnai glishpat es ha'am mishpat tzedek. This is the achana for Yom Adin. Achana for a whole year we need to do this. Teach yourself to look at any situation and come out with schus, with staka. And then, if you pass, then Hashem is going to give you that same treatment. We're writing our own... Hashem doesn't judge everybody the same. He judges one person who's, who looks at people negatively with din. He looks at other person who just very positive. He's not necessarily better or smarter. He just... Believes in people, right? Sometimes we think they're stupid, they're shallow. It's not true. The Nesiva Shalom says from the Baal Shem Tev, that tzaddik ha-gadol b'yayser, yachaleh ha-rasha ha-gadol b'yayser. The greater the tzaddik can love the greater the rasha. Some people are limited. Yeah, if you could only love this rasha, it shows you you're not much of a tzaddik. If you can love this rasha down there, it shows you that you're this much of a tzaddik. It's a part of a midah of being a tzaddik and I would have thought it's not like that. I would have thought tzaddikim, they see right and wrong and they cannot tolerate b'shaim. I would have thought Yiddishkeit would be, the greater you are, the more you see Hashem, why should you tolerate b'shaim? But our religion is so beautiful and it demands of us not to judge somebody less than us. 